a child. You spend the next several years trying to teach him to survive in a multifaceted world. But to lose him in the turn of a wheel is sheer terror. And it's only the beginning of the nightmare that the Webers will encounter in Central America as they try to fulfill their dream trip. Come, evil. charted carefully down to the last detail. Forewarned that the roads were poorly marked, the Webers knew that sooner or later they were bound to make a wrong turn. Nevertheless, they were a little surprised when they found themselves on this strange mountainous road that did not appear on the map. Imagine their delight when they rounded the bend and discovered not only a police car, but a merry-go-round. 
And yet, as Emily stepped out of the car, she somehow knew this would be the one moment in their vacation she would never forget. for a minute. It wasn't even a minute. It was a matter of seconds. And when I, I turned back, he was gone. Weren't there some other kids on the merry-go-round? Yes, there were a couple of boys. Uh, they uh, drove off in a truck. I, I, I saw them leave. Uh, your son, perhaps he went with them. Possible. Scott wouldn't go with strangers. I, I would have seen him. Were you watching them? No, I wasn't watching them. I was looking for Scott. Well, they, they must have taken him. Where else could he be? Well, momento. ¿Qué pasó con el chico? El chiquito, ¿dónde está? Uh, well, I'm sure that is exactly what happened. Did you see which way they went? Uh. They didn't come by us. True, which means they either took uh, the road to the right or to the left. You go to the right, I will go to the left, and we will find them. Not to worry. My son, Scott. He was on the merry-go-round with your boys. Yes, I remember seeing him, but I have no idea where he is now. He's certainly not with me. Well, uh, don't believe me. Take a look for yourself. Did you see him leave the merry-go-round? Did you see him leave the merry-go-round? A man took him off the horse. What man? The old Indian? No, another man. There was no other man. Yes. Where did they go? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? They must have gone somewhere. Now look here, man. The boy told you you don't know. Oh, my God, my baby. Hey, Emily, get a hold of yourself. I want my baby. We'll find him, Em, I swear it. Come on, we'd better go back to the merry-go-round. Thank you. 
I knew they wouldn't be here. I knew it. What's that? I don't know. Well, what do we do? Find them. They can't have got far. What's the take, Scott? I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know. Well, that old Indian was trying to tell me something. Maybe she was trying to warn me. Come on. We've got to catch up with her. Well, shouldn't we wait here for Captain Ortega? If Scott's with Ortega, he'll find us. For all we know, Ortega may have figured it out, doubled back, and gone looking for them himself. In any case, there's no point in us standing here. If we don't find them, we can always come back. Ortega went that way of reasoning, so it stands to reason that they went this way. Let's go. Somewhere. Hello? 
Captain Ortega? Anyone here? <laughs> Stay here. I'll go have a look. No, no, no. I want to come with you. Okay. Start over here. There's no one here. I found the old man inside. Dead. No. No. He, he had the same mark on his hand as the old woman. Why? Why? Inside there was an altar with, with, with incense burning in front of a statue of an eagle. No, I, I know. No. Over there. They must have Scott and Ortega. Oh, that's coming. Whoever it is that's trying to stop us from coming after him. Thank you. 
reina es Dios. El águila reina en todo. El águila reina en todo. Todas vuestras almas están controladas por la voluntad del águila. Todas vuestras almas están controladas por la voluntad del águila. Humillaos delante del águila. Humillaos delante del águila. Rezad al águila. Rezad al águila. El águila es Dios. El águila es Dios. El águila, 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 el águila. Ortega was a madman should be obvious, yet to the Indians he was a god. They thought he had the power to change himself from man to eagle. Why did the Indians believe him? Why did they participate in these bloody rites? Yet aren't people in the most civilized countries drawn to such madness? Haven't we seen demigods like Ortega cast a spell over others? who then commit the most heinous crimes, as if possessed by the devil. But it was an even more primitive instinct that drove Emily to brandish a knife and Gordon to kill in order to save their child. So, until next we meet, this is Anthony Quayle reminding you that there is a touch of evil in all of us. Good night. <laughs>